1991, at the University of UCLA, Alan Adam met Michael Morhaime and Frank Pierce, and they formed Silicon and Synapse. At first, they created games for other studios, such as J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, Volume 1, and Battle Chess 2, Chinese Chess. After the company developed games like RPM Racing, a remake of Racing Destruction Set. In 1992, The Lost Vikings, a puzzle platform video game, and 1993, Rock and Roll Racing, a vehicular combat-based racing video game all published by Interplay Productions. 1994, Silicon and Synapse were acquired by distributor Davidson and Associates for $6.75 million. They wanted to change the name of the company to Chaos, but another company already existed with that name, so they changed to Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard started to develop a new real-time strategy game, which incorporates the epicness factor differing from other RTS games of the moment. Shortly thereafter, Blizzard released Warcraft, Orcs and Humans, its new breakthrough hit. 1995, Warcraft 2, Tides of Darkness, which becomes a reference for being one of the best strategy games. 1996, Blizzard acquired Condor Games and renamed it Blizzard North. Condor had been working on a new project called Diablo, which Blizzard North finished developing. Diablo is an action role-playing hack and slash video game that marks the beginning of a new genre. At first, Diablo was a turn-based role-playing game, but later it was also influenced by the previous success of Warcraft, Orcs and Humans, and was turned into a real-time action game. 1996, Davidson was acquired by a company called CUC International. 1997, Blizzard launched its online gaming service Battle.net with the release of its action RPG Diablo. Then CUC also merged with the franchiser HFS Corporation to form Sandant. 1998, Blizzard launched StarCraft, a real-time military strategy of science fiction game. A success, 10 millions of copies sold in the next decade. The same year, CUC was found guilty of fraud and sold its consumer software operations to French publisher Havas. The same year, Havas was purchased by Vivendi and Blizzard came to form part of the Vivendi games. 1999, Blizzard relaunches Warcraft 2 in its Battle.net edition, becoming one of the first RTS to include an online mode. In the year 2000, Diablo 2 is launched and wins the Computer Game of the Year, Computer Role-Playing Game of the Year, and Game of the Year awards at the 2001 Interactive Achievements Awards. And sold 4 million copies worldwide, also releasing an expansion pack, Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. In 2002, Blizzard launched Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, a well-executed story, a drum-type gameplay with a long shelf life as a multiplayer title. And the next year, the expansion, The Frozen Throne. In 2004, Alan Atom left Blizzard. A few months later, World of Warcraft was released. Eventually, Alan Atom left the game industry altogether and moved into the financial sector, founding Tenfold Capital Management. Recently, in 2016, Alan Atom has returned to Blizzard as a senior president.